All right, we're going to give B. Zangief a shot here. Uh, he gains 20% speed, which is pretty interesting. His passive is when the battle begins, each point of extra, he grants the fighter a 0.3 damage reduction. Can stack up to 30 strength, so he becomes very tanky. So that is neat. So let's try him in an actual PvP match. I thought I'd just put him on the team. I don't know what happened. Let me fix up my factions a little bit. So I can just match it. Bam. Alright, let's get it. I'm ready to try some Beast Zangief. So we're pretty tanky here. We got Chun-Li too. So we're going to go a little Bison here as well. Start off with Bison. Then Zangief does the little claws. He comes in for a Tatsumaki, and then we do a Psycho Crusher. I didn't realize I'm fighting a Bison player. Crap, I hate Bison mirror matches. So annoying. So annoying. Nice. Get clawed. So Zangi tries to go for the other guy on the opposite side, which is good. Bison is doing his Explosion Inferno, which is also amazing. Because that's what we need out of him at the end of the day. I mean, we can lower the attack. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, we try to tank it out, but it sometimes it ain't even enough. Freaking Chun-Li, man. There we go. All right, now he has no allies. So Zangief made it to the end to the point where we would end this match. So B. Zangief put in a little extra work there, which was decent enough to actually look good. But we'll see more of them in the future for sure. Definitely a decent tank for you, some F2P players, if you do pull them. Thanks for watching.